guys, Matt Call here. Welcome back to Behind the Song. Today's featured artist has seven number ones, over 10 top tens, 30 songs that have charted, and 200 plus cuts. It's a very impressive resume for anybody. But for this man, it's Mr. Kent Blazy. It's just another day at the office. Uh, one of the most unique people I've ever met. So positive and just down to earth gentleman. And I love him to death because he's one of the first guys that wrote with me when I first got a publishing deal. And most times, more times than not, when you sign your first publishing deal, a lot of the established guys don't want to write with you. Well, that wasn't the case with him. And I didn't have a lot going at the time, but he stuck with me and still writes with me today. He's going to tell you about another artist who was in the same situation and a kind of a story just like it. Uh, this guy went on to sell more records than anybody in history. Well, I need to say no more other than pay attention because here comes Mr. Kent Lazy. I'm going to do If Tomorrow Never Comes and this is a song that I wrote with Garth Brooks. I met Garth when he was 25 years old and this was the first song that we wrote. He came in and he had this idea that he said, I've run this by 20 or 25 writers and nobody liked it and I want to see what you think of it. And at first I was kind of thinking, well, gee, thanks, I think, running it by 25 other people. But he played it for me and it was something that really resonated with me because my mom used to say, tell the people that you love how you feel about them while they're still alive. And that song kind of had that imagery in it. And I said, the only thing that's wrong, really, is you've got somebody dying in the first line of the first verse, and that doesn't make for really an interesting song. So he said, well, what would you do? And he said, I'd just spit out some lyrics for a first verse, and we ended up writing a song. We had a great time, and you never know how it's going to be when you write with somebody the first time, but we just clicked right from the beginning. He was 25 years old, going on 50. He had a, a depth about him far beyond most people. And uh, so we wrote this song, we did a guitar vocal of it in my studio, which, you know, that's not bad having Garth do a guitar vocal of it. And we pitched it around town for about a year, nobody was interested in it. And then one night Garth was playing at the Bluebird, and he was filling in for somebody and he got to sing one song, and Lynn Schultz from Capitol Records was there, who had passed on him that week for the third time, and heard him do If Tomorrow Never Comes, and said, come back in, maybe we missed something. So he got a record deal, he put this out as his second single, it was his first number one and my first number one. And then the other cool thing is, a hundred million records later and ten years later, some of the Garth writers were doing a show at the Bluebird and I called Garth, he was living in Oklahoma and left a message that said, hey if you want to come play, ha ha ha, we're playing tonight. Well he flew in, he played with us and my first CD is lucky enough to have that duet that he and I did together on it on the CD and so I'm gonna have Corey sing the second verse like he's Garth Brooks and uh, sometimes he thinks he is well sometimes late at night I lie awake and watch her sleep peaceful dream so I turn out the light and lay there in the dark and the thought crosses my mind if I never wake up in the morning would she ever doubt the way I in my heart And if tomorrow never comes Will she know how much I loved her And did I try in every way To show her every day I've lost 
lost loved ones in my life Who never knew how much I loved Now I live with the regret And my true feelings for them Never were Tomorrow never comes